Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Gate Arena. Today we will going to talk about the five stages of our design thinking. In design thinking, we say that the design thinking is a methodology which provides a solution-based approach to solving a problem. It is extremely useful because it is used to tackle the complex problem that are ill-defined or we can say that which are unknown because it serves to understand what the human need. Hence, design thinking is a problem-solving approach that emphasizes empathy, creativity, and iteration. When we are talking about the five stages in a design thinking, we talk about the design thinking model proposed by the D school because of their expertise and the world-renowned techniques used to teach and apply design thinking. Though these stages are not linear and can be revisited as needed, the first stage of our design thinking is the empathize. In this stage, the focus is on understanding the user and their needs. Designers gather insight through observation, interviews, and other methods to gain a deep understanding of the user experience, motivation, and challenges. So basically, we talk about the first stage of our design thinking is the empathize stage. It means research your user need. Hence, the first stage of design thinking process focus on user-centric research. In this, you want to gain an empathic understanding of a problem which you are trying to solve. You can also consult experts to find out more about the area of a concern and you can conduct observation to engage and empathize with your user. Sometimes you want to immerse yourself in your user physical environment to gain a deeper personal understanding of the issue involved as well as their experience and the motivation. Hence, we can say that empathy is the crucial to problem solving and a human-centered design process as it allows design thinking to set aside their own assumption about the world and to gain a real insight into the user and their needs. The main aim of the empathize stage is to develop the best possible understanding of your user, their need and the problem that underlying the development of the product or the service you want to create. Moving ahead, the next stage is the define stage. In this stage, you synthesize the information gathered during the empathize phase to define the core problem or challenges. This involves creating a clear problem statement or a point of view that captures the sense of the problem from the user perspective. So, you can say that the second stage focuses on your user needs and problems. In this, you will analyze your observation to define the core problem which you and your team have identified. Therefore, defining the problem and the problem statement must be done in a human-centric manner. So, the next stage which we are talking about, it is the IDIT. So, during this third stage of our design thinking process, you have grown to understand your user and their need in an empathized stage. And you have analyzed your observation in the define stage to create a user-centric problem statement. Now, since you have a solid background, you and your team member can start to look in at the problem from different perspective and ideate innovation solution to your problem statement. You can use any of the ideation techniques such as brainstorm, brain writing, worst possible idea, and the scamper. Hence, you can generate a wide range of ideas and potential solutions. This phase is also known as a brainstorming phase where creativity is encouraged and all ideas are considered, no matter how unconventional they may seem to be. Hence, we can say third stage of the idea, all ideas are welcome. The next stage is the prototype stage. The fourth stage is the prototype where the design team will now produce a number of inexpensive scaled down version of the product or specific features found within the product to investigate the key solution generated in the ideation phase. Hence, motive is to create tangible representation of your ideas. Prototype can be anything from sketch to the model to digital mockup. The goal is to turn ideas into a testable artifact quickly and inexpensively. Thus, we can say that this is the experimental phase and the aim is to identify the best possible solution for each of the problems identified during the first three stages. The created prototype can be shared and tested within the team itself, in other departments or on a small group of people outside the design team. Therefore, the solution is implemented with the prototypes and 
one by one they are investigated and then accepted improved or rejected based on the user experience by the end of the prototype stage the designer team will have a better idea of the product limitation and the problem it faces they also have a clear view of how real user would behave think and feel like when they interact with the end product the next stage and the final stage of the five stage model is the test stage the last stage is the test stage which is try your solution out evaluate the prototype with the real user during this phase designer or evaluator regressively test the complete product using the best solution which they identify in the prototype stage this is the final stage of the five stage model however in an iterative process such as design thinking the results generated are often used to define one or more for the problem this increased level of understanding may help you to investigate the condition of use and how people think behave and feel towards the product and even lead you to look back to a previous state in the design thinking process you can then proceed with the further iteration and make alteration and refinement to the rule out alternative solution thus we can say that the testing provide feedback that inform the next iteration of the product or a solution this stage is all about refining and improving the prototype based on user feedback so in next lecture we will going to talk about the design thinking as a non linear process